from the Exports Network. This is the final score. Welcome to the final score. I'm AJ Good, starting things off with high school basketball, where Lawrence County was capping off its three days and five days road trip within the district. Last night, they were visiting Tullahoma, where the Lady Cats were looking to grab the top spot within the league, and the boys were looking to get back on the right track. It's like a meeting between the Lady Cats and Tullahoma this season. Here in the first quarter, it's J.C. Scott going to drive into the lane and go off the glass with the right hand. Then moving ahead to the second, it's Scott falling down and still gets the shot to fall. Then it's Cami Pig going to work here in the paint and gets the teardrop floater to fall through. Then it's Sadie Grace Cole from the wing. She's going to knock down the three. The Lady Cats trail by seven at the half. Moving ahead to the third, it's Pig. Almost straight away. Knocks down three of her nine points on the night. Then Scott back to work in the pink, fading away, going off the glass with the left hand. And Ryan Hughes almost mimicking the same shot here from J.C. Scott. Gets that one to fall through. Then Scott. In the lane, once again, she would lead the Lady Cats with 14 points, but they would fall on this one, 53 to 35. The boys tried to get back on the right track after suffering their first district loss last night. Here in the first, it's Alex Bedford knocking down the three-pointer. Then Logan Boswell here with a nice pass to T.J. Gobble off the glass, 4-2. Then Colton Tucker here from the corner, and he's going to bury the three. Then it's Bedford once again going to knock down another three. He would lead all scores with 20 points. Wildcats led by 10 at the half. Moving ahead here to the third, it's Boswell from the corner. He's going to knock down the three. Then Gobble down on the low block. Quick shot up and in and count the foul. Then later, Boswell again from almost the same spot, same result, another three-pointer. Moving ahead to the fourth, it's Boswell again from the corner. He knocks down another three. He would finish with 15 points. So Wildcats going to win 48 to 37. Now heading over to Loretto where the Mustangs were hosting Lewis County looking for another pair of wins against the Panthers. Senior night for the Lady Mustangs as three seniors were playing their final home regular season games. Here in the first quarter, one of those seniors gets the scoring going for the Lady Mustangs. It's Sandra Reynolds knocking down the three. Then another, it's J.B. Clifton here with the drive, the finish, and the foul. Still in the first quarter, it's Allie Weathers. She's going to get the rebound and the putback. Then Weathers going to drive into the lane. And get the floater to fall. Then it's a senior Clifton once again. She's open from the wing, and she's going to knock down the three-pointer. Then it's Allie off the steal. Feeding Sophie Weathers, the freshman, off the glass for two. Then it's Weathers with the steal. Then feeds another freshman, Allie Augustine, for two. The Lady Mustangs going to win big, 61-6. to six. On the boys' side, it was Clint Seymour enjoying his senior night tonight. Here in the first quarter, it's Jackson Robertson with the rebound and the putback. Then some nice ball movement's going to find that senior in Seymour as he knocks down the three. Then it's Seymour from almost the same spot, same result, three of his 15 points on the night. Then Mason Tibwell going to work near the corner, knocking down the three. Then Robertson with an open lane, and he takes advantage here for the drive and the finish. Then in transition, Kylan Wilkerson. Finds Hayden Buttram for the finish. And it's Robertson going into the paint, getting the hook shot to fall and add the foul. And at the end of the first quarter, it's Tibwell going to knock down the NBA range three. It's all Loretto from there. They win it 80 to 34. Now across the county to Summertown where the Eagles were hitting the road to take on Mount Pleasant for the first time this year. First meeting between the Lady Tigers and the Lady Eagles this season. Here in the first quarter, it's Carly Campbell going to get things going for Summertown. Going to knock down the three-pointer. Then Emily Brazier. Here was some good defense with the steal and the finish on the other end. Then it's Braley Burleson getting in on the scoring open from the wing. Knocking down the three-pointer. Then it's Campbell with some more good defense here with the steal. And check out this finish here on the other end. Spinning and going off the glass for two. Then it's Campbell. Once again, coming up with another steal, getting the finish and add the foul. Vanella Busby going to get in on the score from NBA range. Off the back iron and falls through 4-3. Then it's Gabby Long off the feed, getting the finish to go through. So Lady Eagles going to win big, 72-15. to And the Eagle boys also meeting up with Mount Pleasant for the first time this season. Here in the first quarter, Leighton Sherman 
Had a big game, starts it off here, Burleson. knocking down the three. Then Grayson Burleson here Inside in the paint, Burleson, getting the tough shot, shot to the the fall through. Then Sherman once again from the wing, going to knock down another three-pointer. Then from the other wing, Sherman, a nice move, steps back, hits another three. Eagles led by two at the half. Here in the third, now Pleasant starts to turn it on. Hayden hold off the inbounds off the glass, 4-2. Then Ryan Benderman going to come up with the rebound and the putback. And it's Jakari McClure here in the paint, drives and gets the floater off the glass, 4-2. Then Benderman, the outlet pass here to McClure for the finish. And the Tigers going to win this one, 73-53. Coming up next, we check in with middle school basketball where new prospects in South Lawrence were looking to get into Saturday's championship games. Like you, our roots are in Lawrence County, providing banking for every stage of life since 1934. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern-day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gaines Street, next to the courthouse. The Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage community, plus gathering spaces, neighborhoods, daily activities, and a wonderful staff that supports you every day. Hi, I'm Tara Blue. I'm the new director of The Summit, and we would like to invite you and your family to come into our facility. We would love to see you here. Hey guys, I'm Kyle Hammock, Jill Manager here in Heritage Automotive, your Chevy GMC dealer in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. I am from Marshall County, Tennessee, where I went to Cornersville High School. I attended Cumberland University. After Cumberland, I went into the United States Marine Corps to serve the country. After that, I went right back into the car business. I'm very familiar with the car business. I have been around the car business pretty much my entire life. And my commitment to you is to ensure the most competitive new and used vehicle prices on the market, as well as the best service around. Well, we'll treat you like family here at Heritage Automotive in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're gonna put the mower or your ATV or better yet, your mother-in-law? look no further than quality storage buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese and More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. From the Exports Network, this is the final score. Back to the final score now over to the middle school side of things where both South Lawrence and New Prospect were in action in their sectional semifinals last night. Each side was looking to get into Saturday's championship games, but they had two very tough opponents in front of them. Starting off with the New Prospect boys taking on Knowledge Academy in the semifinals. Here in the first quarter, Landon Bracy in the paint, knocking down the fadeaway jumper. Moving ahead to the second quarter is Colin Hargrove. Goes into the paint and his fadeaway jumper falls through. Then Jackson Violet drives to the low block, goes up and gets the friendly bounce and in. Then it's Bracy. Gets a shot block, regains it, gets the drive and the finish. But New Prospect will fall in this one 70 to 36. The South Lawrence girls taking on East Nashville, trying to advance to Saturday's championship game. Here in the first quarter, it's Shayna Fisher going to knock down the three. Then Kenley Stutz. Going to drive and dish to Fisher, who goes off the glass 4-2. Then Boston Webb driving into the paint and gets the runner to fall through off the bank. 
And it's Aubrey Cotton going to come up here with the rebound and the putback. Lady Stallions trail by three at the half. Moving ahead to the third in transition. We find an open Avery Cheatham down low for two. And then Tate Newton in the paint going to come up with the rebound and the putback. And it's Stutz. Drives, misses a shot, but gets her own rebound and the putback. Moving ahead to the fourth, it's Webb in the paint. Gets the runner to fall through, but South Lawrence will fall in this one late, 46 to 44. That does it for the final score. Have a great day, and we'll see you guys once again tomorrow. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.